Hey everybody, welcome to Kuyu Live, our first live product release of 2016. And we've got an amazing product to show you today, our new Stormstar Four Season Tent. I'm here with Brendan Burns, welcome. Thanks, glad welcome to be here. Welcome to the first Kuyu Live event. It's great it's one to, to start you. with. Yep, uh, I have Brendan here because he's been a uh, integral part of the design development and has personally spent a ton of time in this tent. He's also put it out to a lot of our guides and outfitters that we work with in some pretty inhospitable conditions and terrain. Yeah, it's been fully tested. We're, we're feeling <laughs> yeah, good about this. Yep. And so we want to take you today uh, quickly through some of the technical uh, materials and uh, why we designed the tent the way we did, some of the advantages of this tent versus other choices that are out there in the market, and why we believe this is the best choice of a four season tent specific for hunting. Yep. And we put a lot of thought into what we need and this has been a project that's been in development since we started uh, the development of our first tent program. We wanted to create a four season tent, uh, really that would outperform what other choices are out there in the market. And we have studied the competition's uh, tents. Yep. We've, uh, I know you've personally spent a ton of time in different four season it, tents. It, in the competition's tent, in, in mountaineering tents, in every tent, we, there, was, there was always stuff that was missing. And so it, when it came down to it, if you could design a tent that was the perfect four season tent and still maintain, you know, your sub six pound lightweight, yeah, practical design for two guys to hunt out of, like, what would you do? And so that's that's how we yeah. went. Yeah, I mean, and just take us through what what some of the shortcomings are of the other tents that are out there because there's some great tents. A lot of guys say, you know, why should I uh, ever choose a Kuyu tent versus some of the other choice out there, like a Hilleberg? And they are great tents, and they're yep. they're um, like a Hilleberg's really really bomb proof yep. um, and uh, but it comes with some limitations. So, so uh, the practical space where two guys, you know, as a hunter versus a mountaineer, you have a lot of gear. They have a lot of gear, but we have a lot of gear. And I know, know our customers are bigger than a lot of climbers. Yeah. So what we designed, we designed it to be practical and functional for two guys to hunt on. You have equal and own space, double vestibule. A lot of the mountaineering tents that are in this weight class are front loaders. I personally, anybody who uses it, a front loader is not a great tent to hunt out. Of. You got to climb over your stuff. You yeah, you're in and out too much. Yeah. You're cooking in and out. It's just it doesn't it doesn't work as good as a, a double vestibule yeah. side load. Well, I know you had a Hilleberg when we went to New Zealand a couple years ago, and in looking at that tent when you spent the night in it, I couldn't believe the amount of condensation that was in yeah. that tent, yeah. and how that was acceptable. And I guess it was just an accepted sacrifice for a yeah. lot of the four season tents. Yeah. Yeah. So more breathable, more room, okay. practical space, more comfortable. I mean, yeah. two guys can sleep shoulder to shoulder in this. So let's, I'm going to take you guys through some of the technical details, and then Brendan's going to uh, talk a little bit about his thoughts on, on some of the, the designs and the dimensions and, and some of the thought we had into it. But uh, I think I'll start with a really unique material that we have built into the, the stress-loaded seams, and that's what we call X-Pack, which is a really durable fabric that was made for sales. And uh, it's, it's great for a four season tent because it is incredibly tough, incredibly durable, and it doesn't stretch, which is key because the, these outer fabrics in our tents, as you've probably experienced, when they get wet or cold, they will uh, relax. Shrink or expand. Shrink yeah. and expand. And then in you know, cold, wet weather or in a storm when that, when that fabric relaxes, you don't have the tension on the pole structure and it makes it more and, and it allows it to to cave in a little bit and can collect wind and you know stress load the tent and the poles so x-pack does a couple things it doesn't stretch and then how we designed it into these seams it really takes a single seam that would normally be stressed and spreads it out over three seams on its stress points and then uh, the connection points on our pole structure are x-pack as well so it's, uh, it lets us accomplish uh, and increase the durability and the, the overall tension and structure of this tent uh, with this material, which is, which is incredible. And there's some mountaineering brands that use this uh, particular material on tents designed to go up on like Everest because of the really high wind conditions. And it's been proven uh, uh, material for, for this type of a tent and this type of, these types of conditions. Uh, this tent has a 30 denier double ripstop tent fly fabric and then a 40 denier ripstop floor, a double ripstop floor as well. And uh, we, this is a higher denier than what you're going to find in our Mountain Star tents because we need typically more durability in a four season. You're going to sacrifice a little bit of weight for, for more durability in, in tough weather conditions. 
And then the difference between, you'll see between our Mountain Star tent and our Storm Star is how the fly is designed. So it's gonna come down to the ground versus having more space. And that's done to keep the wind from getting underneath and catching the tents and, and potentially flipping it over or pulling stakes out. And it's also gonna keep spin drift and snow uh, from blowing up as much underneath the, underneath the tent. And then another feature you'll find in four season tents is the material that we use on the tent body instead of just mesh, uh, like you'll find on the Storm Star, we use it what's called a breathable fabric. And this is a 30 denier fabric that is uncoated. So you're gonna get the ability for it to breathe um, and let moisture and condensation go through this fabric. It is treated with DWR, so moisture gets on it, it's gonna beat up and run off. And uh, that's done in a four season to deal with the snow and the spin drift. And I know I've spent some time in the Mountain Star in uh, some conditions where, the, where it snowed unexpectedly and, and have had a lot of snow actually inside the tent body, you know, building up on your sleeping bag. So this will fix that problem. Uh, we still do have a, uh, a mesh uh, screen door on the Storm Star so you can zip it open, increase the breathability if there's, if there's no snow, um, give you more visibility inside, out, from inside the tent to the outside. And so you can, uh, you can still unzip this and have the advantages of a mesh. So uh, another design feature on this tent that's been different from our past Storm Stars is, roll this open so maybe we can get a shot inside here, was a trapezoidal floor design, which so, you really came up with. Yeah, well the, the big difference is it's designed to be practical for two guys to sleep in. So you're naturally wider at your shoulders. Two guys, uh, the, the industry standard is between 48 and 50 inches, 46 and 50 inches on most four season, two person tents. So we decided to, uh, it's the same at the bottom, 46 inches at the bottom, but it's 56 at top. Two guys, two big guys can sleep in this tent shoulder to shoulder without being in your really in, comfortable, in yeah. their space. So doesn't increase it a lot, doesn't increase a lot of weight, doesn't, it just makes it more functional for two people. No one sleeps head to foot. Um, and it, we designed it so that the, the, the wide end, the 56 inch end is to be set up normally as two guys hunting would be. You would put it, you know, slightly head up or into the wind if you can, but um, to make it more comfortable because nobody wants to get, you know, the downward side or the, sure. or the bottom. So two guys on one end. And then as a bit of a change in, in the tent design from the, the Mountain Star is because we know it's going to be in high wind conditions and bad weather, this tent is designed to be positioned with one side to go into the wind, and we designed the vestibules to take that into account. So they both open the same direction. So if the wind's coming into this tent, it's not gonna blow in and catch the vestibules and put stress in the tent and, and blow uh, snow or weather back up inside. So you can unzip this and have the wind protection uh, with the way that we designed these vestibules. And then we did, uh, one of the downsides of most four season tents is condensation breathability and breathability issues so uh, to counteract that we've built in two pretty robust vents on both sides of the tent at these locations and you can access them from the inside with a zipper so you can zip them shut uh, if the weather gets really bad and it's blowing blowing uh, rain or snow up under the vents but to be able to open up and get airflow through the tent the the the, the wide design everyone that tested the tent notice the difference and it's one of the one of the one of the great things about this tent is yeah. everybody that used it noticed the trapezoidal floor yeah, yeah. The, the extra room to sleep in there the design two guys can sit up cook on one side on the other everybody has their own space um which was a huge hit yeah and build access you have your own access point no one's crawling over somebody is is fantastic uh the other thing that we've done on this tent is we've uh We've, we have a lot of guy lines that went off of this thing. Um, back here, like you find on the Storm Star, but you're also gonna find uh, locations on the, on the tent fly here and here. So you're able to guide line, the, guide line this thing out and really make sure that it's secure in bad weather. And you'll notice on, at the pole locations that this webbing's uh, a little bit longer than what you're gonna find on the fly. And that's designed to wrap this webbing around the, around the poles and to use the poles to help secure the guy lines and really tighten up this structure. As you'll notice on this tent, um, we use the same hoop and truss 
design that we have done on the Mountain Star that we really like and believe in because it, this design preloads the poles versus just a design as you'll see in some other tents where it's a crossing pole structure. The downside to a crossing pole structure is that there's, there's no tension on the poles unless it's guy lined out and you create that tension through guy lines, that tent will collapse in the wind with a crossing pole design. With a hoop and truss, because it's preloaded, that doesn't happen. And then uh, on the Storm Star versus the Mountain Star, we brought this truss pole all the way down to the ground connected to, uh, to the fly, which, which truly makes it a four season with, tent. With the outer skeleton, you can set this thing up in any conditions anywhere. Super high wind, rain, wet, everything comes in from the so, outside, you stake it out. Yep. And so take us a little bit through the times and locations you've spent in it, and then also some of the guides and outfitters you've, you've given it to, to test. We sent on about, oh, over the course of the, of the project, about 15 tents total, uh, all different locations, several different models as stuff was being changed. Um, it, um, Bull and Lewis had several, Lance Kronberger, Freelance Outdoor Adventures, Willie Hedinger, Johnny Niker. I mean, a lot of guys that like, uh, there was a tent, uh, one we sent one up to NWT Outfitters. Um, they've been all over the place. M uh, my one buddy took it to Outer Mongolia. I mean, it, uh, it went Tiburon last week, they were using it. It's, I mean, it's been, it's been all over. Um, and we basically just wanted to make sure that what we thought we wanted in a tent, um, guys that were using it, and, and, and we needed to get exposed to some horrible conditions, and, yeah. uh, and we did it. So take us through some of the worst conditions you've tested in. I, I had two hunts this fall. I spent 34 days in this tent this fall, one in, uh, in the Chugach in Alaska, which you can see on the blog. Um, we got three days of great weather and, and six days of worse weather, absolutely pounding rain, high wind. Uh, a, a lot of times during the daytime it was super static so there was no wind but raining really hard where you test the breathability and you know how much condensation it's going to build up and uh, you know two of us we were comfortable for for seven days and in, in in adverse conditions and then I spent uh, another 24 in uh, in the Bob Marshall in Montana and uh, some snow some rain some high wind some really high wind up to 60 miles an hour thing performs great I mean I had it set up exposed several times where just didn't have any other place to camp and uh, just pass with flying color. Right. Everything I look for in a tent that is going to be able to take, that you could take anywhere is... is and I know, we, I know last winter we tested, put a prototype up at your house because you yep. live in Bozeman. Yeah, Just to yard. put it in feet of snow conditions, right? Yeah. To see I, what the snow loads are doing. Any, any, I had it up for like 100 days. My kid loved playing in it, but it, nothing, it was, you know, great. I, at one point in time, there was probably this much snow on top of it. No, no Didn't the, collapse? No, no collapse, nothing. Didn't, didn't affect anything. And so one, one thing to note on this tent is it only comes with aluminum poles, a little bit bigger diameter than what we offer with, with the Mountain Star. Carbon poles are great as far as weight savers, uh, and they are very stiff, and uh, they, those are the advantages of carbon. The downside to carbon is they can point load and, and fail, and a carbon pole won't do that, it will bend, or excuse me, aluminum pole won't do that, it will bend. Uh, and so that's why we have uh, just aluminum poles here on the, on the Mountain Star tent, or storm, excuse me, the Storm Star tent. And then uh, one last thing I want to cover is the waterproof ratings of the materials that we put on this tent. So the fly has a, a 3,000 uh, waterproof rating and the floor has a 5,000, which is a couple levels up from what we, we need and, and put on to the Mountain Star tent just to give it um, additional weather protection for it's really adverse. <laughs> it's waterproof. It's waterproof. Adverse con condition. Yeah. So, so. Um, I think that covers it. Wait. Um, oh, yes, wait. So unpackaged. So minimum, minimum weight is only five pounds, uh, five pounds, 5.2 ounces. Packaged weight, that's with the stakes, with the stuff sacks is five pounds and 14 ounces. And you can also, as with the Mountain Star tent, the fly or the tent body um, is, you can clip out yeah. and take out and you can just run, just run the, uh, the fly weight and, and a footprint and that's four pounds and two ounces. And we do offer a footprint for this tent like we do with the Mountain Star. And the fly only setup is only three pounds and uh, 10 ounces. So you, can, you have lots of options with this. Yeah, and, and we're not going to be able to show it super well, but there's uh, there's a really good positioning of a lot of pocketing on the inside of the tent oh, yeah, for, for all your storage. Everything's well thought out. Where would you put your satellite phone? Where would you put your, you know, everything, er, any pla practical place where it doesn't, um, where where you where you would need to get to your stuff. There's a pocket on the inside of the tent. 
Yeah. And then just one last thing I did. I don't know that I covered really well because we've covered it with Mountain Star, but those of you that aren't familiar with the Mountain Star tent, our tents are designed with an exterior pole design. So the structure is put on the outside of the fly. A lot of tents, that's not the case. The pole structure is connected to the tent body on the inside, and then the fly is uh, thrown over the top. I believe uh, our design is better for hunting because we're never in a situation where we don't have the fly over the tent. Yeah. By putting the fly underneath the pole structure connected to the body, you can now set this tent up in bad weather and not have the weather get inside. Also, tent flies located over the top of the poles have a tendency to get uh, abrasion and wear from the, pole, from the pole over time. So you get a more durable, a faster setting up tent. And I think it's just a much more efficient design for hunting. Does that cover it? Would yeah, I mean, the best thing I can say about this, we, we set out with the goal of designing a sub six pound, practical, two man, go anywhere hunting, four season tent, and we, we've done it. I mean, yeah. it's a, it's just, there's nothing I would want to add to this tent. Yeah, I don't know that we've missed anything on this thing. It's, it's, a, it's a great design, so. Um, we always like to take questions. It's one of the great things about our live program, and I know Pat has, has uh, taken some of the questions that come in uh, and has printed them up, so let me grab these and we're gonna go through some of these questions. And then we're also gonna give a tent away to somebody today, and I think Pat has that as well. So I'll let you answer this one, because um, I think it's a, it's a good question. I've heard the same as, how does this tent compare to other proven four season tents in the market, such as like a Hillebird? Just basically designed for the hunter in yeah. mind. So we got, you know, double vestibule, it's wider at one end, um, practical for two people to be sleeping. I mean, rarely in a four season type situation are you gonna be hunting by yourself. So it's, you know, two people sleeping side by side. It's very comfortable. Everybody has their own equal space. Um, and, and the package size of where yeah. it's going. Most of the tents that are comparable with this are narrower, um, don't, wouldn't breathe as well. And, and most of them in this weight class are front loaders, which yeah. is, it's just not what we were looking for. No, it's not a great design. No. And then I, I will also comment on the material choices. I mean, X-Pack is a state-of-the-art material. Um, there's not a lot of tents out in the market that use this. Uh, and, and then just some of the other smaller details. I know Sean spent a, a bunch of time on like the webbing tension, tension locks down here that are really robust, easy to get this thing tight and won't fail. And then just how we guideline it out and just some, some specific design features for our use. Let me get to the next question. When should we choose this tent versus a Mountain Star three season tent? And I'll let, again, let you answer this one because I think it's a great question. You know, if you're gonna end up, I mean, super, super high wind, you could end up in horrible weather, places that, you know, your support is not gonna be there. If something goes wrong, like worst possible scenario type situations, that's when you take a tent like this. If you know you're going out in the summertime or early season and the weather looks great and you can hike, like that's when you take a three season tent. When you are going somewhere where you're unsupported. Um, you're going to be spending a lot of time and getting out. You know, you, you can't afford to have anything go wrong. You're going to carry a little extra weight. You don't have to worry about anything. It's yeah. a good answer. Are carbon uh, fiber poles avail available for the Storm Star as they are with the Mountain Star? And this is probably typed in before you answer that question, but it's only available in our larger diameter aluminum poles just for added insurance in the yep. pole structure. Yep. What additional features are required on a tent to make it a four season tent? I'll let you answer that one. Well, tight, tight to the ground. You know, I mean, this thing in, in super high wind, nothing's going to get under. Obviously, the heavier fabric, higher waterproof rating, taller bathtub. And then the, the, the pole structure that comes, instead of a truss stopping here, it comes all the way to the ground to give us a lot Com more. Comes all the way around, yep. yep. Um, and then the breathable fabric on the tent body, keep the spin drift from coming through. Yep. I've had that happen quite Just a bit. Not it's not awesome. awesome. <laughs> no, it's not awesome. <laughs> What is X-Pack material and why did you choose it? We covered this at the beginning, but just to, to cover it for those of you who may have uh, logged on late, X-Pack is a sail material. Um, it's been proven in the sailing industry because uh, sails can't stretch. They need, need to have uh, a, a, a fabric that does not stretch. And this material is used on some other four season tents that are designed for high altitude mountaineering. So it's a proven material for, for what we use it for. And it basically spreads the high stress areas on the outer fly where the poles connect and spreads it out over three seams with a fabric that won't stretch versus not having this material at this locations. When the fabric gets cold and relaxes, uh, it creates less tension on this and, and allows for the weather and high winds to, to impact the tent. Do you have to seam seal this tent? Um, one thing, I, a good question, because I don't think I answered it. And our tent is, uh, doesn't have to be seam sealed uh, because it is seam taped. 
uh, by the type of material that we yeah. that we use on our tent and I prefer a taped seam tent versus having a seam seal seam sealing you can miss a seam it has to yeah. be treated on a regular uh, regular basis it and adds weight and, a, and it, yeah. yep, it adds weight so um, we do uh, seam tape our the inside of our flies I think that's it on the Just questions it, yeah. good questions all right so uh, we always choose as a, as a gift for those of you that have taken the time to log on and learn about our new products. Uh, and we, we like to give away a product in appreciation of you guys uh, taking the time to log on. And uh, today we drew a name. His name is Ryan Tancock from Fort St. John, BC. He's going to need it. He's going to need it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, perfect choice. So Ryan, congratulations on the new Stormstar tent. And I uh, just want to say, Thanks to everybody for taking the time to log on. We always appreciate uh, your enthusiasm for the Kuyu Live events and the new products we, re we release. And this is the first live event of the year, but we have a lot more coming. Uh, later, uh, or at the beginning of April, late March, we'll have another live event we'll make an announcement about that we'll be covering uh, some new Peloton products that are amazing. I know we've both been testing those for the last year. And we'll have more to come uh, throughout this, this springtime and into the summer. So. Look for the announcements and uh, stay tuned for, for a lot more stuff. Awesome. Thanks, you guys.